With the same contenders always going far, a few surprises on the horizon, four years later, if one was to tell you, the Brooklyn Nets not only failed to get a ring, but didn't even get past the second round, absolutely a huge disappointment, the team will have to bank on the unpredictable Ben Simmons, Xavier McHale Bridges, while Milwaukee and Boston head and shoulders above the rest, are they gonna dominate with ease? My 2023-24 NBA Eastern Conference predictions, starting with the 15th seed, the Washington Wizards, a roller coaster season expected, the worst in the conference, an absolute travesty of a franchise, hasn't gotten past round two since the 70s, finally the end of the wall view era, DC's finest welcomes the light skin bros, Kuzma and Poole, Tyus Jones will have his breakout year, Fans will endure plenty of ups and downs from Poole, a 41 point bomb, to an absolute miserable 1 of 15 shooting preseason night. The most hilarious team, Kyle Kuzma, king of empty stats, the pregame outfit MVP. Expect team to be in contention for next year's number one pick. 14 seed, Detroit Pistons, a wasted second season for franchise point guard Kate Cunningham. Asar Thompson in the backcourt, interesting mix, Bogdanovich a name to think about before the trade deadline, Marvin Bagley and James Wiseman trying to save their reputation as former number 2 picks, this team still ways to go, a little bit of improvement, normal progress, but nowhere near the west of the conference, the team will have all eyes on Cade, very forgotten about already, needs to fully prove to be the culture setter, already 22 of age, anything short of borderline all-star would be a huge disappointment, Monty Williams making plenty of money, should be a great coach to guide his young guys. 13th, the Charlotte Hornets. Nothing but bad news, troublesome players. Another reason why MJ sold the team, sick of them kids. The absolute travesty, Kai Jones, prayers to his mental health. Suspension of Miles Bridges, still ongoing stuff. LaBella Ball, starting healthy. How will his body hold up for 82 games? Still having Terry Rozier and Gordon Hayward, PJ and Mark Williams. Still shaky in the East, a healthy roster like this. No way this team finishes 30th on offense again, needs to be banking on Brandon Miller to prove he was worthy of number 2 pick. A big market team would have likely got rid of Bridges completely, the now 33 year old Hayward under 52 games played each of his last 4 seasons on the decline, team stuck in no man's land. 12. The Chicago Bulls, 34 and 48. DeMar, another year older, still hasn't addressed their lack of playmaking, another season no Lonzo Ball. At this point, nobody's even sure if Zoe's ever gonna play another NBA game again. A weird big three of Levine, DeMar, and Vucevic. Teams should be proud giving Miami the toughest competition in East. With talks of Zach and DeMar already feeling frustrated and lost on the team with no shot of any noise, I truly believe this will be the end of the three together before breaking things up. Starting from scratch, DeMar final season of his contract, 2024 looking like a wasted year. 11. The Brooklyn Nets a full season post KD, post Kyrie, feels like a rebuild, team shouldn't be relevant for a while, expected to be way worse, only reason why they made the playoff, the disgruntled stars lasted so long, too many role players, too little star power, can't win that way, the weirdness of Ben Simmons feeling like he's starting out his rookie season again with a new team, has nothing to lose if he balls out. The lack of media attention, team will have some good moments, ultimately not talented enough to sneak into the playoffs, not a terrible team by any means, but super flaw, not above average either. 10th, the Toronto Raptors. Messiah still enjoying his 2019 year a little too much, one of the weirdest teams constructed, absolutely no spacing whatsoever. Took Jakoperto away from a serious contender, the Australian will have to suffer on a non-contending team again, all that hype on OG like he's the next big thing, averaging 17 and 5 numbers, absolutely not worthy of 4 first round picks, 12 potential free agents in 2024, Siakam's contract expiring, the team might have to blow it up and build around Barnes, who no longer looks like the future superstar after an amazing rookie season, Raptors missed their chance with KD when they refused to trade their promising forward, they'll have their moments, but not dangerous enough. 9th, the Orlando Magic, an interesting young core, last season's rookie of the year expected to make an all-star leap, Wagner over 18 a game, brought in Joe Ingle for experience purposes, it'll depend on how well Markel folks can hold up, everybody's been waiting for a breakout season, only glimpses of great abilities, but can he do it consistently, help set up Bencaro and Wagner, those two asked to do a lot for being forwards, given folks bad track injury record, huge part of his career, Jonathan Isaac, who knows what impact he will make a playoff berth would be a huge success a play in 
likely the scenario. 8th seed Indiana Pacers, Therese Halliburton, the clear franchise star, a massive contract, back to being solid again, should have slight improvements at the very least. Young core of Matherin, Nemhart, and Neesmith, some of those guys should improve. The addition of Bruce Brown, good championship DNA presence, OB Topkin, Halliburton, Lobs will be deadly. And the beloved Miles Turner staying put for several more years, not the strongest bench, being around 500, what many should expect, the play-in. After finishing 5 games behind the Bulls for the 11th spot, getting out the play-in won't be easy. Halliburton looking more than ready for the next step. 7th seed, the Miami Heat. So what if they're the defending Eastern Conference champs? Their offseason has been an absolute travesty! From striking out on Dame Lillard and Bradley Beal, got rid of key rotational guys Gabe Vincent and Mass Drews, no replacement, we all learned no one can count out Miami again. The team clinched the 8th seed by the skin of their teeth thanks to their sharpshooter Strews. The final playing game was the Bulls, no longer here. Pat Riley continues to play with fire, teams like Boston and Milwaukee, head and shoulders better than Miami on paper, wasted all that energy on Dame only for the rival to snatch him. Jimmy Butler's already 34, we know he don't go all out in the regular season, but we'll need to after the All-Star break to avoid finishing below top 8. And the other rival team trading for Drew Holiday, having an older Josh Richardson, Tyler Hero needs to step up average close to 24, Bam's offense needs to elevate, K-Love and Lowry, not regular season guys at this point, who's their reliable backup point guard under Kyle? Team easily got worse, in my opinion 2024, too much of a burden to overcome, they'll be exhausted if they even get out the play in. 6 seed Atlanta Hawks, Trey Young already heading to season 6, still super disrespected by many like he didn't win 2 games worse Boston, Quinn Snyder done a fantastic first year job, continued development from the younger guys much needed, DeAndre Hunter needs to be more aggressive, looking like Harrison Barnes 2.0, just an okay starter, but Donovich is who he is, Jalen Johnson and Okanwu needs to step up, should be a little better than last season, Finish 8th place before upsetting Miami to face Boston. 2 years since getting to the conference finals. Follow 2 straight first round exits. This coming season looking more like a round 1 exit. If Trey leads his team to round 2 will be considered a successful season. DeJounte Murray's extension. Him and Young needs to coexist better. But not the ideal first and second option to contend for a title. Nowhere near real contenders. 5th seed, the New York Knicks, a second round berth with franchise point guard Jalen Brunson, the 27 year old pretty much the beginning stages of his prime, Randall is who he is, but when is RJ truly gonna elevate, very shaky offensively still, will he be close to a 23 point score, given the heavy burden Brunson had in the Heat series, 2 disappointing postseasons for Julius, whose playoff loss, too much to fix, Tips without a true superstar, another second round exit likely, even a first round exit possible if New York's not careful. Having the hard working Nova guys in the heart and DiVincenzo, both crash the glass, play hard in every aspect of the game, the energy of the players will definitely allow them to overperform and win games, but the RG concerns coached by Tips still worrisome. 4th seed, the Philadelphia 76ers, with the mystery of crybaby James Harden refusing to be with the team and more, he'll eventually get traded, but his value tanking by the minute. Last season's MVP still hasn't lived up to playoff greatness. Franchise hasn't gone to the conference finals since 2001. Maxi, the second option, if Harden was to come to the Clippers, Terrence Mann expected to move the needle? Nah. The franchise title hopes slipping away, and B will turn dirty given his past injuries, his regular season success likely on the decline. If Philly makes no progress, anything but a conference finals berth looks 95% likely. Joel perhaps being unhappy to demand a trade soon, the franchise mismanaging several lottery picks, tanking for years, only to end up like an absolute travesty. 3 seed the Cleveland Cavaliers, a weird fit with Allen and Mobley, both fail spacing the floor, clocking the lane, and inefficient Mitchell jack up shots overwhelmed by New York's toughness, Donovan 27 years old, good addition Matt Strews gives them shooting, Along with 6'8 George Niang, Mobley still not close to looking like all-star, despite the insane hype, age 22, one of the best defensive players already, but neither him or Allen can shoot past 15 feet, regular season wise, no doubt they'd be great, especially with Garland and Mobley's potential improvements, team clearly looks better than last season, a huge opportunity to go far. Number 2, 
Boston Celtics neck and neck with the Bucks. The Seeds always will be a top three seed as long as Tatum and Brown plays most games. The team been together for how many years now? No more getting far. It's either championship or bust. Team finally took a risk trading away the beloved Marcus Smart who reached his ceiling 2022. Derek White looked much better last season. A huge upgrade with championship DNA Drew Holiday. The best defensive backcourt duo in the league got better by taking a chance on Kristaps Porzingis coming off a spectacular season with Washington looked like his pre-injury self. Team has all the scoring. While 37 year old Al Horford can't afford to play much regular season. Needs to save all his legs for the playoffs given his defensive IQ. JB tons of pressure after getting the largest back any team has ever given. One of the deepest team in the league. Number 1. The Milwaukee Bucks. The unstoppable duel of Dame Lillard and Giannis. Perfect compliments. Greek Freak never played with a player of that magnitude. A closer who's deadly from every spot on the floor. Middleton and Lopez reserve roles in their 30s. Getting older, but team chemistry on point will record similar record to last season. Giannis been giving out warning signs, wants to win multiple titles. Should be the best offensive team in the league. Two 30 plus point scorers a season ago. Giannis won't have to be the one creating all the offense, but also more chances to crash the glass. Won't be doubled as much with the dangerous Lillard, two top 75 players. There's no hungrier player in their 20s than Giannis. Both have the mindset to win. Anything short of a title would be a failure. For my Western Conference predictions coming very shortly, I'll also give my playoff predictions in that video. You don't want to miss that out. See you next time.